As Americans, we're constantly reminded that at any moment we could be killed in a terrorist attack. And this is a fear that we've dealt with for decades in this country, especially after 9-11. But should we actually be as scared of terrorism as we are? It turns out that when you look at the numbers, there are things that are more likely to kill you no. than a terrorist attack, it turns out. So we want to talk about some of them. So first off, baseline. What are your odds of dying in a terrorist attack? Now the numbers vary depending on how you define it and all of that. But the, uh, the most likely uh, estimate I've found is one in 9.8 million Americans will die in a terrorist attack. Some people say one in 20 million or even higher. So keep that number in your head as we start to talk about some of the things that are more likely to kill you. First of all, being struck by an asteroid. That seems ridiculous, isn't it? One in 250,000 to 500,000 people will die because of an asteroid, which is ridiculous and unlikely, and you shouldn't think about on a daily basis, but it's still far, far, far more likely than you dying in a terrorist attack. Okay, so let's think about that for a second. Do the quick math on that. You are 20 times more likely to die from an asteroid than a terrorist attack. Especially if you're who, a dinosaur. He, <laughs> who goes out thinking like, hey honey, don't forget to watch out for the asteroids. Okay, we never worry about that. We never think about that if you're a rational person. But we are scared to death. We, we had a vice presidential debate last night where they 50 percent of the debate was talking about terrorism as if we were under imminent attack. We lost a third of the country to terrorism. When's the asteroid <laughs> right. debate? <laughs> exactly. We need to put hundreds of billions of dollars into our military to stop rogue asteroids yeah. and comets. Could you imagine if they spent half the debate talking about asteroids? You'd think they were absolutely nuts. Yeah. But yeah. here they are talking about terrorism even though there's, according to my numbers, one in 9.3 yeah. million chance of getting killed by a, a terrorist. Now there are actually things more likely than an asteroid. So what about being struck by lightning? That's a ridiculous thing you've probably seen in movies, doesn't really happen often, but your odds are 1 in 174,000. So if you're worried about asteroids, you should be at least twice as worried about lightning. But oh my god, there are things more likely than that. A dog bite could kill you actually. 1 in 114,000 Americans will die as a result of that. So maybe don't be too worried about dogs, but oh my god. But by the way, way more likely than terrorism. That is How scared are you of dogs? Now, a lot of people to be fair are scared of dogs. Yeah, I was actually a shocking number of people are scared but of dogs. More scared of terrorism. Okay, so let me just say two quick things about that. One, I find that to be perfectly rational because <laughs> no, no, I'm dogs not worried about nice. No, you're being ridiculous. Okay, so Fluffy's not going to kill you. But like there's all these idiots like, "Oh, my Rottweiler probably won't chew your baby's face off." That is a thousand times more likely to happen than a random terrorist strike at that time. Are fine. And and by the way, I'm wrong. It's not a thousand times more likely. It's a little over a hundred times more likely. Mm -hmm. Okay, the lightning strike is also a hundred times more likely to happen. Then you're gonna get killed by a lightning strike. You're gonna not get bit by a dog. You're gonna get killed, killed by, by a dog. dog than a terrorist, yeah. over a hundred times more likely. But look at this, because it turns out that dogs are nowhere near as dangerous as ladders. Uh, your odds of dying from falling from a ladder or scaffolding, one in 9,500. So much more likely than dogs, let alone terrorism. But do we worry as a nation on a daily basis about ladders? Do we conduct presidential debates about the dangers of scaffolding? Not a very often, <laughs> although I've noticed in Manhattan, there's a lot of scaffolding. In Manhattan, and we stand for that. <laughs> so that would be a hilarious debate. All right, now, Go Governor Pence, your turn to discuss the defining issue of ladders in this country, <laughs> which are approximately, I'm starting to lose track on the math, what, a, a thousand times more likely to kill a you times more likely. Uh, than, than a terrorist strike. Yeah. A thousand times more likely. Especially <laughs> with the feckless ladder leadership of President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but could you imagine if we were as freaked out by ladders as terrorists? Apparently, we should be a thousand times more freaked out. Yeah. Every time you saw a ladder, you're like, ah! See something? Say something! There's a ladder! There's a ladder! <laughs> okay. Oh God. Okay. Now, uh, just for funsies, something we do actually talk about, and I think people are actually worried about this one, and they should be because death by assault by firearm, one in 358. There, we're getting more likely. Still, the idea that you should be scared about firearms on a daily basis, that you should say have one in your house specifically because of that, it's one in 358, it's still extremely unlikely, but far more likely than terrorism. But as a nation, do we talk more in politics about terrorism or about gun control? You already know the answer to that one. 
So the chance of you being shot by a neighbor or anyone is, if I'm doing the math right here and I lost track, is about 30,000 times greater than dying in terrorist attack. I'm bad attack. at math, but that sounds right. <laughs> 30,000 times more likely. Now you do the math on your own, see if I got it Maybe it's 3,000, okay. but whatever. Okay. <laughs> so are you, of course that makes so much sense. There's so many guns around. Even in countries, by the way, where there aren't so many guns around, you're still far, 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 far more likely to get shot and killed than you are to get, uh, die in a terrorist attack. Yeah. So, but in the U.S., you're much more likely, as we've just explained to you. But yet, if we were to do it proportionally, in these presidential debates, we would ask 30,000 <laughs> questions about guns to every one question about terrorism. Okay, and that is, as you can tell, not the way it's happening. It's not going to happen. Which makes you wonder. Why are we doing that? Hmm. So, and in case you haven't figured it out by now, uh, there are people who profit from war, and what they need to, and profit from fear. Uh, they get votes that way. They get the wars that they need that way. Constantly be afraid. Be afraid of the others. Now, if I get you to be afraid of guns, one, I don't make as much money selling guns. Yeah. Okay. Number two. It's harder to be scared of your neighbor. That's not as productive. We're not going to go to war against Alabama, right? So what we but it's easier for me to get you to go to war against the others which I've scared the living crap about you over and tell you that it is such an enormous giant problem and get you to spend those hundreds of billions of dollars every on the, year on defense appropriations and so oh, our military is larger. Wait a minute. Our military is larger than the eight largest other militaries combined. Right? No, not large enough because of terrorism and ladders. <laughs> okay. Yes. And 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 finally, uh, in case you're wondering, of course, the first three uh, causes of death are obvious: they're heart disease, cancer, and stroke. Uh, but you know, those are eat eat your vegetables. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, actually, why don't we bring up the top five just so you can see what will actually uh, mm -hmm. likely kill you? Uh, most of those are cardiovascular. They're determined by diet. So worry a little bit less about radical Islam, perhaps, and a little bit more about your intake of certain foods. Yeah, so bacon. Read some Michael Pollan. Uh, bacon's far more likely to kill you than a terrorist, and which makes me afraid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but what I tell my kids: look, the first three in terms of kids are less relevant for the moment being, right? Uh, but I tell them the three big dangers are water, fire, and cars. And, and cars. Okay, and it's true. You have a 1 in 23 chance of dying in a, in a car accident. That is one of the greatest dangers. Look, Put your, on your, seat belt. your health. Don't text and drive. Your health is a long term issue. How well you eat is a long term issue, and you should do that. But the time you should be most careful is when you're in a car. So the chances of you dying in a car accident, if we're, again we're doing the math roughly right, 300,000 times more likely to kill you than a terrorist strike. Yeah. So. And a lot of people rightfully get mad at Ralph Nader over the 2000 elections. But remember, he got his seatbelts, and that was activism. He was not a politician. He didn't need to be president. He did activism. He got seatbelts in the cars and saved millions of lives. Yeah. And what he did saved so many more lives than what any president ever did to combat terrorism. Yeah. So just keep all this in perspective and know what the real danger is. And why they're lying to you about the fake dangers. It's not to say that terrorism doesn't exist, but the magnitude of the risk that we're taking. There is a reason why they're lying to you, and it's usually for someone in power to make more money.